Hello, and welcome to Chapter 9 of my Balsa USA SPAD 13 build. This chapter will cover, pun intended, the covering of the wings and the ailerons, and the issues that I did find. This first photo shows a wingtip that was prepared according to the plans, but I also added the extra brace between the two braces. Uh, this was an anticipation because it looked like it was a little bit on the flimsy side. My fears were well justified, as can be seen in the next photo, and this is before actually complete shrinkage of the covering. Uh, needless to say, I was less than impressed at this point. I have used SIG coverall on a number of projects in the past, and never once did I have issues that I'm seeing here. A quick view of the instruction manual, construction manual, clearly shows that they only expected to have those two braces, which were more for the wingtip than actually bracing the uh, wingtip rib. Obviously, modifications were in order. After removing the complete top cover, I decided to strengthen that area, as you can see in this photo. I actually doubled up the rib, and I actually added a lot of new braces as well. This was probably a little bit of overkill, maybe a lot of overkill, but I did not want to worry about the wingtip flexing and breaking like it did before. So I, uh, it's not visible, it looks good, I'm happy with it. The next photo shows the wing covered, however at this point it has not been shrunk yet. This next photo shows the wingtip after the uh, shrinking, and as you can see it came out very well. Um, you can see the, the reinforcements, of course, are not going to show there underneath the covering. The following is some video I took while covering the ailerons. Uh, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm covering the uh, ailerons. Uh, I put the uh, bottom of the aileron pre-covered already. Just ready to put on the second, the top to finish it off. And it's going together fairly well, but uh, these scalloped edges uh, do make it a lot of extra work and uh, a little more time involved to do that. Anyway, if you want to follow through, and we'll see how this goes. Oh, here we go. I have found it a lot easier, rather than trying to do a complete covering, to, especially on these lightweight units that have a lot of cuts trimming into it, is just to adhere it, let that set, settle up so it's nice and strong and firm, and then I can go around and I cut and, and adjust different areas, and it seems to make a, a little bit better job, so we'll see how that works out. So now I'm just doing the finishing touches on the ailerons. I uh, take my time doing the ailerons because there's a lot of cutting and trimming and fin fitting and uh, you got to be careful with the uh, nitrate dope because it, uh, it's not like uh, a heat shrinking plastic covering. It tends to move around a little bit before it sets up so you have to be a little bit careful. So. I go through in stages and uh, let one area set up really good, then I trim it back and then work on the second set. In actual cases, this is going to be about four, maybe even five different operations before I get this uh, finished up and ready to be shrunk. So, I'm going to finish up uh, trimming this up and get ready to put the dope onto it and we'll see how it comes out. Just trimming the edges here now.
there. Just about where I want to be. I can close up and then when that's done, I can uh, trim this off with the razor blade. One thing I should mention is uh, working with this fabric, it's kind of like monocoque. You're going to be going through a lot of these. They get dull very, very quickly. Okay, I'll get ready to put the dope on. As in the wing covering, the ailerons are covered in the same fashion. What that means is you always start with the bottom and get that secured and then do the top. The reason for that is any of your joints and seams will be underneath the aileron and not visible if they would be on top. Although the ailerons are much smaller than the wings, they take just as much time, if not more time, to cover them properly and get them all sealed down. You will notice that I have left the scalloped edges to last. They involve a lot of cutting, trimming, and carefully forming them over the scalloped edges. So, if you have never covered an aircraft with fabric and dope, I wouldn't recommend this particular aircraft as your first study. There are a lot more simpler ones out there, and uh, you will get good results. It just takes a little bit of patience and a fair amount of time. The finishing touches, and just before I'm ready to tackle the scalloped edges. As can be seen in the video, not only is the brush used to lay down the nitrate dope, but you have to use your fingers to form that into the, the softened dope and make it do what you want. Sometimes the brush just will not do exactly what you want and your finger will certainly solve those issues. Before you put it aside to completely dry, confirm yeah. that everything is stuck down. That looks pretty good. I got that hard enough. Get out of the snow. Here are two pictures of the completed ailerons. Uh, fabric is on and shrunk. And this is the top view looking down onto them. And as you can see, everything looks nice and uniform. No signs of seams, no signs of overlapping. Exactly what you want. This next picture shows the bottom. And you can see the tabs very clearly on the scalloped edges that had to be folded over and uh, to make sure that you have enough uh, adherence on the uh, underneath so it doesn't fall apart. So that basically is where we are right now. So this is a wrap on this chapter of the build. Again, I thank you for watching and stay tuned. Always more to come.